So quarterfinal number three, uh, the first one in Australia, the only one in Australia sees the Waratahs taking on the Highlanders. Uh, teams with pretty similar records, the Waratahs finished the season with nine wins, six losses and a draw. The Highlanders, I guess you could say slightly better, 10 wins, uh, five losses. They finished equal on points uh, at the end of the season, but in terms of the table positioning, in terms of, uh, well, with the conferences, uh, it's number three against number six. Uh, they have met once before this season uh, in a pretty, well, it was an interesting game. Uh, it was in round 14. It was 41-12 to the Waratahs, so a pretty comfortable win. A game in which uh, the Highlanders got a red card pretty early on. Uh, and, I mean, the, the Waratahs were still looking good in that game, but uh, it kind of took a bit away from it that it wasn't 15-on-15. 15 15. Fingers crossed in this game we'll get 15-on-15. 15 uh, and get a better game of rugby overall. But still, the Waratahs, like I said, look pretty sharp in that game. Uh, for the Waratahs, largely unchanged lineup from the team which got beaten by the Brumbies last week. Uh, Newsom comes in for Cam Clark, who moves to the bench. But otherwise, I mean, it's pretty similar stuff. You've still got no Hooper, so Miller is in at 7. He's looked alright from what we've seen of him. Uh, Phipps gets the nod of uh, at number 9 ahead of uh, Gordon. Although it was Gordon that started... Uh, when the Waratahs got that win earlier in the season, so that one is kind of an interesting change. Well, change in terms of round 14 versus now. Uh, Foley is captain without Michael Hooper, so he'll need a big game uh, at number 10. Otherwise, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty similar to last week. For the Highlanders, they got all their big guns back after a few of them having a rest last week with All Blacks kind of commitments. Uh, Aaron Smith's back, Ben Smith, Luke Whitelock, uh, Thompson returns to the midfield with his partner um, Walden. They've looked really good this season. Uh, super sub Matt Faddis is still on the bench, can't quite crack the starting lineup despite how much uh, a lot of Highlanders would like to see him uh, in the starting lineup. Uh, obviously no Tavita Nabura, who was the, the guy who got red carded last time, he has not seen much game time since that incident. But um, yeah, it, uh, it has the looks of an interesting one because if you, obviously if you want an Australian team to, to go far in this competition, You've got to be back in the Waratahs because the Waratahs are the sole uh, representative uh, from the boys uh, from Australia. The Rebels having missed out on the 8th spot to the Sharks. Uh, for the Highlanders, they are the only chance of uh, setting up a New Zealand, New Zealand uh, final, all New Zealand final, because the Chiefs, Hurricanes and Crusaders are all on the other side of the draw. So they'll end up knocking each other out before the final. Only one of them will make it. So if it is going to be New Zealand on New Zealand, the Highlanders are going to have to do it um, from the other side of the draw. Uh, Angus Gardner is the ref uh, for this one. So it's an Aussie ref with an Aussie team. It's another... It's, a, it's one where you'd like them to go neutral refs, but obviously I mentioned in my previous video that uh, for the Crusaders-Sharks game, it's a New Zealand ref. So Sanzar are going with the whole... Uh, we're picking refs on merit rather than... Um, based on nationality, so hopefully uh, the ref likewise is not a big talking point in this one. Uh, the Waratahs at home this season at Allianz, which is where this game is being played, they've taken a couple of games uh, to other grounds like the SCG and Brookvale, but uh, at Allianz they're 4 from 6, so pretty decent home record. Uh, they did have one really disappointing uh, loss against the Lions uh, at Allianz, where they were kept scoreless, so their record is definitely far from perfect there, and that loss last week is in pretty recent memory. For the Highlanders, their 10 wins, the majority of them came at home. 7 of the 10 came at home, 3 came away, but all against teams who didn't end up making the playoffs. They beat the Blues, the Reds, and the Bulls away from home. So all teams at the bottom end of the table. So the Highlanders are definitely going to have to up their game if they are going to get a, a, an away win and uh, you know advance to the next round of the playoffs. Um, the Highlanders by three is what the bookies are saying for this one. I guess it's that kind of injection of, um, of All Blacks, which is, uh, tipped them in favor, plus, uh, the Waratahs not, not putting in their best shift last week, but I guess if there was a time, uh, for them to drop a game, it was probably last week rather than this week, so they'll definitely need to be on form if they are going to get a result. Um... Yeah, whoever wins this game is potentially going to be traveling to Johannesburg to face the Lions if they can do the job over the Jaguars. Otherwise, the Waratahs potentially, uh, if they win it, could have a home game, uh, depending on how other results go. So we'll see what happens. 
it does, it does have the marks of an interesting one written on it. But um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts on how you think this one's going to go. And I'll talk to you again soon. Alright, see you later.